In today's session, you will learn the regular expression concept in Python. But what is the importance of the regular expression in Python? Generally, the regular expression which you use to find the pattern in the given string. Okay, just you test whether given pattern is found in the given string or not. Okay, then what is pattern? The pattern may be is a special character, the pattern may be a uh, what is called an alphabetic character, the pattern may be digits, okay, anything. But pattern is nothing but a sequence of characters, okay, which are used to search for a pattern in a given string. Okay, that is called as the regular expression. Then why we use the regular expression concept in Python? Oh, for example, I will tell you two real-time examples in case of uh, Python. For example, if you violate the email address, whether the user has been entered in the correct format or not, how do I know? Then we can validate the email address by using the regular expression in Python. Okay. Then another one, I would like to validate the phone number, whether the user has been entered the valid phone number or not. Then how do you check? Okay, with the help of the regular expression. Okay, then the regular expression is very useful to validate the data. Okay, then how we can find the pattern or search the pattern in the given string? We will see with the help of the examples. Then, if you take, if you like to use the regular expression in Python, you like to import one module for the re dot, then match. Uh, then pattern, the syntax I am right here. This is called as a oh, what? pattern. Oh, then uh, string. Uh, then plot. This is a syntax. Or it means, or in nothing but a model. The match. Okay, the pattern should be. You check the pattern in the given string. Okay, then plot. Flag is nothing but flag options. It is optional because uh, model re dot i, then i stands for, for example, here if you use model dot flag should be re dot m, okay, m stands for multi line, then r dot i, then it is called ignore case, either which can accept any case, either lower case letter or upper case letter. Uh, then Unicode, okay, the Unicode represents the group of characters in the given string, okay. This is called as a flag. Then I would like to use the patterns, any pattern we would like to find. For example, I would like to find the pattern PRO. Then string, what is the string name? Yes, yes is nothing but the string name. I don't want to use any flag over here. Then what it returns? For example, returns any example M. Then here, then print. Print, then M. Then what it returns? This is called a pattern. This pattern is found in the given string or not. What is the string is yes. Then check it once. Then PRO, if it is found, then which returns that index, then otherwise it doesn't return anything. Then I would like to save it because none, okay, because none has been displayed. Because PRO is there because the match which will check at the beginning of the string. Okay, otherwise the pro has been found here, but which shows doesn't match because none has been displayed over there. Isn't it? For example, I would like to py. And if it is py, okay, if it is found at the beginning of the string, there is no problem. Okay, then which returns match, then please take it once.
would like to check it once. None. What is called MER dot match. Then it is PY is a pattern. Okay, capital small. Sorry. Then capital PY. Then what it returns we will see. Yeah. Because it has been found at index zero. Then zero one two. Okay. What is the span of that word? Then zero one two two characters. Okay. The match is PY. This is called a span means. There is a group of what is called pattern in the given string. Okay, uh, that is called. If it is does not match, what it returns? Then it is returns none. Okay, for example, here the P Y is there actually. Just check it once whether it is working or not. Yeah, I would like to run. Then none because it has displayed none because. The match function which checks the pattern at the beginning of the string, okay, which checks the pattern at the beginning of the string. If it is found, then which returns the match. Otherwise, which returns doesn't match. For example, if you like to write if, then if m colon what is called print match. If you want to display like this. It is also possible. Then else, what is called print? What is called doesn't match? Not match. See, here, the P O is there. Then what is the error? What is which? What it returns? No, not match. Okay, because. Here it does it returns none. That's because if the condition returns false, which go to the not match. Okay. Then there search. The search is also same syntax. The same syntax. The string pattern. The string then flag equal to zero. But here, what is the difference? Okay, search because it will be the given pattern is found anywhere in the given string. Not at the beginning. There is no restriction to find at the beginning. There is no restriction to find at the middle. No, no, no restriction to find at the end, isn't it? Then I would like to run this model. Uh, then what it returns? Yes, match. Okay, it is match. Then because then I would like to display. Then print m. Then what it returns? Please, everyone. Can see here because here ten to twelve, okay? Because the P O where it is there, it is found at index ten, okay? From that, the two characters will be there, okay? Because it is starting index, last index minus one, last index minus one. That is called as the eleven. Then ten eleven. This is called as index ten. This is called as index eleven. Please remember it. Is it clear? This is called as the what is called then search. Okay, if like to use the cap symbol is here. If I use the cap symbol over there, then okay, what is the mean of the cap symbol? Okay, the given pattern is found must found at the beginning of the string. Okay, previously if I run this model, it returns match. But here what it returns because at this time the P O it checks P O at the beginning of the string or not. The P O is not at the beginning of the string, which it does doesn't match. Then once you save it, then play check it once. Then what it returns? Then none, because if you are displaying the M value is none, then answer is not match. Then we are using the cap symbol. We are using the cap symbol over there. That's why it is doesn't match. Okay, if you remove it, then which returns match? Okay, then for example. Uh, here I am using the dollar symbol because dollar symbol means the string P O must be found at the end of the string. What is there at the end of the string? That is G. Then if you use G, then if it is found, it returns match. Otherwise, if you use any pattern over there which returns doesn't match, then here, see here, yeah, match because what is G has been found at the end of the. String that index position is thirty-seven, then thirty-eight. Okay, last index minus one that is thirty-eight. 
Okay. Then this is the pattern theory required. But then we check whether the given pattern is there in the given string or not. Okay. Then as for your requirement, you can uh, test or you can validate the patterns in the given string. Then I would like to go for then what is find all. Then find all. Then previously the search method here I remove it. Find all. Then even if the given pattern is found anywhere in the given string which returns all the matches. Which returns all the matches. In case of search which returns first match only. Find all method which returns all the matches in the given string. For example, I would like to use what is called uh, which has occurred two or one or more times, two or more times then we will see then O. For example, I would like to search O. The pattern O is in the given string or not. Then we will see then once you run this model because how many times the O has been occurred in the given string three times. In case of search, which returns only first occurrence. In case of find, which returns all the occurrence of the patterns in the given string. Isn't it? That is the difference between search and find all method. For example, here, then what is called sub. The sub method syntax is different. Uh, the sub method syntax is that uh, then I will show you here then mod or you dot then sub that is called the pattern uh, then comma string syntax. Here for example o if the o has been found which has been replaced by uh, then how many which one do you want replace? Okay, it is replaced by uh, then what is called N. I would like to replace capital N. Okay, if O has been found in the given string, if it is replaced by N. Okay, if O has been not found in the given string, the it doesn't N, it is not applicable because it can't replace it by any character has not been replaced by n in the given string yes okay for example see here please i would like to remove this one because it is not required for us but then save it then run this model then what is the error as what is the output see here it doesn't what is called yeah m equal yeah i did not display here the print m then what it returns yeah see here o as replaced by m three times it is replaced okay is it clear here it is replaced here it is replaced when here it is replaced then because I would like to replace only one time. Okay. Then if it is one. At that time, how many times the O has been occurred in the given string? Three times. But then how many times the O is replaced by N? It is only one time. It is only one time. Okay. My maximum occurrence is only one. Then here, it is the O has replaced by N. The previous was here is there, here is there, it does not replace by any character. Then I would like to check, yeah, please check it once. Yeah, it is replaced by only n, it doesn't replace it by either in this O or this O. Isn't it? Okay, because by default is maximum occurrence. Okay, here maximum occurrence is only one. That's why it whenever it is occurred, it stops the procedure. It doesn't check for remaining characters in the given string. That's why maximum occurrence is only one. Okay, that has been given here. So this is called as the sub function. Then I will tell you two important validations in today's session. Then email validation, then phone number validation. Okay, split means the given string is split uh, because I will see here. 
the split because split function then whenever because or as there it is because i would like to here i would like to remove this one yeah okay. because whenever the o has encountered in the given string it is treated as a one word it is treated as a one word then it is treated as a one word the remaining words are treated as a one word you see here how it will be displayed because the given string is split to the words or tokens as per the delimiter o see here once you run then what is the output we got sorry to say re has no attribute split split okay spelling mistake split yeah see here split yes then yeah. check it once yeah see here sorry to say then here the o, whenever the o has in, encountered it is treated as a one word it is treated as a one word it is treated as a one token it is treated as a one token okay because as per your requirement the string will be converted into the tokens okay by using the split ID is in proper format or not uh, then we can check it with uh, 